Well, the shock and fear when a four-year-old girl is mauled by a dog. That four-year-old girl is recovering tonight, but her recovery is just beginning. And tonight, the little girl's family is getting support from an entire school district. Local 12's Angela Ingram brings us her story. You have to be someone pretty special to throw out the first pitch. Especially to your own mom. Amrielle Tao's four years old, and her parents say she's always had the ability to bring people together. She's our little light. She can walk into a room and brighten up everybody's mood. If you're in a bad mood, she puts you in a good mood. She's a jokester, definitely got that from her dad. This evening, friends, family, and strangers are coming together to support Amrielle and her family. Earlier this month, she was mauled by a Rottweiler that her aunt was dog sitting. Amrielle's parents beat the ambulance to the hospital. Opened up the doors, and that's when we saw our child. Mauled by the dog. Her left side of her face was completely filleted open, and the right side of her jaw was pretty exposed. Still, the family has rallied, and Emriel has rallied. Students and former students who played softball with the little girl's aunt put together this softball event as a fundraiser for the family's medical bills. Oh my gosh, it was horrible. I was definitely feeling bad for her and the whole family. Dakota East is like a big family, so once we heard that a supporter was in, like, in trouble, we decided that we wanted to like do something. Amriel will have a long way to go, but she's not alone. And just as this crowd is bringing her joy, Amriel's spirit is doing the same for them. I feel like thank you is not enough, but we are so thankful for what everybody has done for us and the love and support that we felt from everybody around us. Amriel will need reconstructive surgery and it will be a while before she can do some of the things she loves to do, like be a cheerleader again. But her parents feel confident that eventually she will be able to have the same quality of life that she did before. In Westchester, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. And the dog that attacked Amriel was euthanized. If you would like to help the family, we have a link set up at local12.com.